is Kubwa Madudu. Okay? Yeah. Kubwa Madudu. Got it? Repeat after me. Kubwa Madudu. There you go. Kubwa means big. He's a big Madudu. Got it? What are you all giggling for? I did not. Andy, what are you talking about? I said mud doo doo. I did not bring a big doo doo into the library. Andy, I expect that out of boys, but not girls to take it there, right? Yeah, next you'll have jokes about farts or something. I mean, goodness me. No! No, it's pronounced mud doo doo, okay? Kubwa means big, and mud doo doo means fun. Yeah, oh, but you didn't mean so bug. This is a fake right. bug. Where are you going, man? Well, you don't want your first row to see anymore, huh? It's called a Madagascar hissing cockroach, the world's largest oh, yeah. cockroach. Yeah. Is it you? Did you say yes? Yes. Yeah. You did, really? Everybody Hey, can you come up here and help me out for a second? Yeah, I like this thing. You come on over here. You know, some people think this bug is gross and disgusting. Can you believe that? You can, huh? <laughs> He's not that adorable. Well, this bug is really no different than a ladybug in every single way. Hey, think about that. If a ladybug were flying around and landed on your head, would you be like, I can't wait to do that? No, we're not afraid of ladybugs, as long as we know it's a ladybug. Well, this bug is no different than a ladybug in every single way that counts. I'll show you. What's your name? James, can you hold up two fingers like me? I want you to try touching them just like that. Doesn't feel too bad, does it, James? Feel it again. Do you know what he's touching? He's not touching skin. Bugs do not have skin. Do you know what the outside of a bug is? Kind of like a shell is called an exo... Skeleton. Skeleton, there you go. Exo means outside, James. So his skeleton is on the outside. Our skeleton is on the inside. But a ladybug skeleton is on the outside. So why doesn't he look like a ladybug? Do they shop at different stores? No. James, it has to do with where this bug lives. Where he lives on the island of Madagascar, he lives up in trees. There's all sorts of animals that love to eat this bug. Birds, lizards, and monkeys that like to move it, move it. They love to eat them, eat them. Hey, James, if we were bugs living up in the trees and this animal's trying to find us to eat us, would we only be bright red with big black polka dots? No, feel them again, James. His colors help him to hide, blend in, or camouflage. That's why he looks the way he does. Hey, big round of applause for James. Great job, James. Yay. Now this insect has some other things, like an insect, like a ladybug, like those things. Is because there's no lions on the island of Madagascar. He was on a boat that crashed. The biggest predators that live on the island of Madagascar are large snakes. And those large snakes hunt animals that are hunting him, like birds and lizards and monkeys that move it, move it, call lemurs. And when those lemurs hear that hissing sound, there's a chance they might drop them and let them go so he can run away to live for another day. And by the way, you may think this is the most disgusting thing you've ever seen in your life. Well, that's okay, you're entitled to your opinion. But what I want people to understand is even creepy animals that look like this, you might not think have any value at all, well, let me tell you, we don't have any King Julians. We don't have lemurs on the island of Madagascar if they don't have food teeth, like insects. Insects and bugs, including bugs like Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Two women do the big bug on Madagascar hissing cockroaches. And Hatari means dangerous. And most people agree when they see him that he does look just a little bit dangerous. This is Hatari. He's called an emperor. Scorpion. Oh, yeah. That is awesome! Now, most people when they see me holding this scorpion think one of two things. Thing number one. That guy's crazy! Ah. Oh, that's what you think of me, huh? No. <laughs> or thing number two. Oh, well, it must not be venomous. He's holding it in his bare hands. Is the scorpion venomous? Yes. Oh, yeah. I already broke that rule once. I picked up his venomous cousin. Also with eight legs, the beautiful tarantula, right? Here's the thing though, scorpions don't have fangs. Their venom is back here. See that thing that looks like a raindrop? That's the venom sac. The curved pointy thing is the stinger. He's venomous and he's fully loaded. But that doesn't make me crazy. Just because an animal is venom, does not mean they go stinging things in front. Okay, they don't.
They have to have a good reason to sting something. There are two good reasons for this scorpion to sting something. What would one good reason be? If he's in danger, right? Why doesn't he think I'm dangerous? This is not the first time I've picked this scorpion up. Remember I said I went to school to learn how to work with all different kinds of animals? By the way, kids, don't ever pick up a Texas scorpion. No. Texas scorpions sting first and ask questions later, all right? The emperor scorpion from Africa, being one of the largest in the world, apparently doesn't feel like they have to prove it nearly as often, all right? Yeah, yeah, so he doesn't think he's in danger, but that would be a good reason if he did. But it's not the only reason to sting something. There's another reason to sting something. Yes? For food. For food. Well, look at him and look at me. How long would it take this scorpion to a whole person? Sixty hundred thousand days. I'm not exactly sure what the math turns out on that, but let me tell you, I won't stay fresh without refrigeration nearly that long. Or definitely not forever. <laughs> yeah. A scorpion cannot eat a whole person. It's like you try to eat a pizza the size of your house. Now, I know you might seem excited by that, but trust me, by the time you finish eating a pizza the size of your front door, you're never going to want to eat pizza again, all right? He cannot eat a whole person. We're simply too big. So there you have it. I'm too big to eat. I'm not doing anything to hurt him. Oh, there is a third thing. His venom is not his first weapon of choice. The pinchers are, the claws. If an animal gets too close to him and starts sniffing around, he'll just take one of those pinchers. Honk! Right those back off, mister! Okay, dude, they go, I get it! Right? That'll get your attention. Honk! Nice little grab with those pinchers. Can you see them? They look very sharp, don't they? Yes. And of course, if he's hungry, he doesn't waste a whole lot of time usually running around looking for food. He, like a tarantula, is an ambush hunter, which means they'll usually wait and stay kind of still and wait for animals just to wander on by. And when something wanders on by, he's got that picture in, and he's crush. He doesn't make that sound, by the way, but he'll crush that bugger insect in those pictures. And he can crush through the exoskeleton of just about any bugger insect. And as strong as those pinchers are, they're designed to take on skeletons, but not skin. So if he pinched me, he can't even break the skin very easily because it's designed to crush through his prey. People are not prey. Bugs and insects are. Now, there is one other form of defense that they have. Would you like me to demonstrate it? Yes. They can run really fast. You want to see how fast he can run today? What? No? Well, as exciting as that might sound, I'm, I'm not going to put him down. Because, well, I know. Because if I put him down, I'm pretty sure we're not going to find out how fast a squirt he can run. But I definitely think we will find out how fast some of you can run, all right? Yeah, you guys, half of you are out the door, and boy, you think that chair is going to help, don't you? Look at that, the feet aren't even touching the ground there. Now, that is Hatari, our Emperor Scorpion. So dumb.